that actually happened in the last few days. In fact, it happened on Monday, I believe, before the uh, Duchess of Cambridge was admitted to hospital and an announcement was made. So it does put us in a position where we do expect to introduce the bill shortly. Andrew Lansley. Well, the rule of primogeniture is deep-rooted in our past, so I spoke to the royal historian Kate Williams and asked her what it meant in practice. Essentially, primogeniture in Britain is that the man inherits the throne. So a woman can only inherit the throne if she has no male siblings at all, whether they're younger or older. So our only queens in history are the ones with no siblings or any sisters. So that's Elizabeth II, Elizabeth I, and Victoria. And so this is a big change. This is how it's been really since the beginning of the monarchy, because the idea is, is that a man has to lead us into battle. And when we're a much more warring nation, when the, when the, you know, the, we could go to the war at any time, the point was that the king would be out there leading us, protecting us. And that's why when Elizabeth I first addressed her troops, she had to apologise for having the body of a woman. Has this rule always favoured the male line? This rule has always favoured the male line. The point is that the man is the monarch. The only time a woman gets to be the monarch, she's kind of the default, the second choice. And we you know throughout history, really, until Elizabeth II, every time a woman was due to inherit the throne, there were lots of concerns that she wouldn't be able to manage it intellectually, physically, that the country would be weak and that it wouldn't be respected abroad. So until, really, Elizabeth II, it wasn't really seen as even possible that a woman would make a good monarch. So this is a really big change. What will it actually mean for perhaps other parts of the aristocracy and other families with titles? This is a really big change and it's really interesting because, you know, we live in a country in which we've recently been told that we're not going to have women bishops. We don't have many women CEOs, not many women in cabinet, but what the monarchy is saying is that the woman can lead. I mean, we could, if Kate and William have a child, the girl, and she has a girl, we could have a whole series of female monarchs now right into the future and she, of course, will be head of the Church of England. And what we have to ask here is what kind of effect this is going to have on the aristocracy because at the moment the male inherits the title, the male inherits the estate, the elder male child and there are a few aristocratic families that let women inherit but not many and this is of course important because not only do these men become powerful landowners they also sit in the house of lords so i think we might see a beginning a movement forward to the idea that aristocratic girls can inherit the estate just as well as aristocratic men this simple notion that the bloodline only goes to the male is outdated and i think proved completely wrong if it's all right for the monarchy i think it's all right for the rest of us Looks like this change is going to go through, but what would happen if one of the Commonwealth countries said no? It looks like this change is going to go through, but if one of the Commonwealth countries said no, we're going to have a real problem. It's going to take a lot more negotiation, a lot more discussion, and of course it's quite urgent this law goes through because we have a baby on the way in June or July. Is there one princess who stands out in your mind as the best queen that we never had? The most important queen we never had is Princess Vicky, the daughter of Queen Victoria. She was the eldest child and she was intellectual, responsible, reliable, a very uh, dutiful girl and she would have been a brilliant queen, much more so than her rather profligate, wild, debauched and naughty brother Edward VII. Royal historian Kate Williams talking to me a little earlier. With Christmas approaching